Good morning. We will pay attention to the calculation of the opening balance in the bank account if it is not provided. So normally they will give you the balance at the end of the previous month and you will open your bank account with that balance. In this case, for instance, they give you the bank reconciliation at the end of the previous month and they don't give you the bank balance. So that means that you have to calculate this balance. The easiest way to do this is to put all your debits together and all your credits until you understand it better. Then you can just say, I must add these figures and subtract those figures. Now remember that the debit should be equal to the credits. So if the credit side is the biggest side, then it means that you will have to put in a balance for the bank account on the debit side and vice versa. Okay, so if we look at this, this is a debit balance according to the bank statement. So that 685 will go on the debit side. A deposit in our books are on the debit side. So in the books of the bank, it will go on the credit side. All these checks in our books are on the credit side. So all the checks will appear on the debit side there. And then they say debit the incorrect deposit. So that's a mistake that the bank made that they have to correct. So that 140 will be on the debit side. If we add this up, we see that the total on the debit side is 1,400 and the total on the credit side is 920. So if I want to determine what is the balance, it means that I will go and take the 1,400, subtract the 920, and that will give me 480. Because the credit side is smaller than the debit side, this balance is on the credit side. So if I open my bank account for the current month, I will open this bank account with a credit balance of 480.